first you knew that something was happening this morning, what it was? The first I knew this morning was uh, a couple of members of staff called for me. Um, my office is, I was with the middle of staff at the time, my office is not very far away from where the incident happened. They just called for me to get there immediately, which I did. Um, and when I arrived at, at the scene, um, the female member of staff was already being dealt with, being administered first aid by my staff, and other member of staff had already uh, restrained the, the pupil, and I had then assisted us restraining the pupil whilst we were waiting for the uh, emergency, service to, emergency services to arrive. What detail can you give us about the ladies' role in the school and, and what was happening at that, that time? I can't really give too many details at this point uh, because I wouldn't want her to be identified at this point because you know, of you know, her families and friends and that sort of thing. But um, she's a well, very well regarded member of staff, a very important member of our pastoral team. I will say that. And what was it like at that time? It, you know, it must be quite unnerving for something like that to happen in It was uh, both horrific and very calm at the same time. Had a number of, numbers of members of staff in, in the office, in her office where it happened, who were uh, speaking to two different emergency services at the same time, whilst liaising with other staff who were coming to the door. So the staff must have been, have been fantastic, thinking on the feet very quick, very professional, uh, almost instinctively knew what to do, questions to ask, and they all, they all rally around in order to ensure that all the students were safe in the school which they were because it, the incident happened away from the main classrooms the students were in their tutor time at that point so we got a message out there for them to stay in their tutor rooms to keep them safe and secure and how was your member of staff the, the lady who she, she was obviously distressed um, I was you know because there were so many people in the room I wasn't having that communication with her there were enough people there for her to, to be liaising with her and talking to her and, and they were communicating with the emergency services at the same time, so it wouldn't have been appropriate for me to be speaking to her. But, you know, no doubt she was, she was very shocked at, this, at the situation. And after that you have parents and pupils and, and a school to run. What, what yeah. happened next? Well, the first thing, obviously, is as soon... Because we had to obviously liaise with the police, had to take the best interests of the member of staff and, uh, and the student that was involved and the rest of the students. Once I knew they were all safe, which they were, I put out a very short um, text message. We've got a text to parent service just to say there had been a serious incident, that all the students were safe and secure, and that further updates would follow. Um, and obviously, once we knew what was happening with the member of staff, and I'd taken advice from the police, I could then start putting things in place with regards to letting the parents know that if they felt they needed to come and collect their students, that they, they were able to do so. But the school remained open for those students who have stayed in school. So school stayed open but gave the, the parents the opportunity to cut their, their children if they felt they needed to. This sort of thing obviously doesn't happen very often but no. now it has. Uh, in the first instance obviously I spoke to all the students who were still on site. Um, I'd had assemblies with lower school and upper school to explain what had happened, explain that they were safe, explain that the school is open tomorrow. Again tomorrow the school is open fully and expecting the students to be in school. Again we'll hold assemblies in the morning to um, given the facts of what's happened because some of the students weren't in those initial assemblies but also there's support on site um, from the local authority who's Education Inclusion Partnership, they're, they're providing some support for counselling for any students or staff who might need it uh, but also the, the local police, we've got a, a police community officer who's going to be on site all week just as a reassuring presence really and, and to provide any answers that students might have you know, be wandering around and so forth. And how has everybody been who stayed in today? They've been very good, actually. Uh, very few students have, have remained in school at the end, you know, um, but they've been well looked after by the staff. The staff have all come together as a, a very close-knit community. It's in, it's in the name of the school. Um, very supportive of each other. Very supportive of, obviously, the, the member of staff. Um, they've been extremely professional throughout, very understanding, and, you know, been very, very proud of how they've conducted themselves, really.